Aries, welcome. Let's jump right in here and see what's going on with you today, okay, Aries? Now, keep in mind, this is a general reading, all right, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. So, of course, it's not going to, excuse me, resonate with all of you. But for more uh, readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. Thank you, Aries. And I don't know, I feel like you guys know my name, but if you really don't, I'm Valencia. Rival 33 Tarot. Okay. Just had to let you know. In case some of you are new. Which I, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> I've been losing subscribers every day for supporting our future presidents. <laughs> eh, you win some, you lose some, huh, Aries? All right, let's see what's going on here with you, okay, Aries? Alright, Aries, so um it looks like here that one, either there's a person you know or you see that is for some reason has caused you to feel like you've run out of options, there's nothing you can do, or you daydream about them. Is it delusional? Eh, I'll let you be the judge of that. Um, it's more so like a panicky like what are you gonna do now kind of an energy or you yourself you're confident okay um you're passionate in planning and then what happens right like something or you know what even, even if you're confidently just sitting there daydreaming because you feel good look good smell good you still kind of get really confused to the point where it's a little scary for you for some reason your emotions um, get the best of you. It's like you're running out of options. Um, I don't know if it's because you're not able to pursue someone you actually have romantic emotions for that you're not being honest with yourself about or you just keep getting rejected all the time or it's something else. And I tell you, the reason why I say that is because on one hand, whether it's a person or you feeling confident, you still end up really confused. Or just full blown on purposely like daydreaming and not maybe being realistic. But afterwards, you start to actually feel pretty guarded and defensive to the point where even you know you got to get up and do something, maybe even put some boundaries in place. And so after this, you actually end up ending something. Something's done with and you know that now. But it makes sense because a lot of you, it looks like here, it could be a lot of things. One, you're just not ready to face your childhood trauma. Who is? <laughs> Two, um, maybe you're thinking of an ex. You miss your ex. Three, there's a memory from your past. Something's going on with past people, past situations that you're still thinking there's got to be a way. Okay. Now, after this, though, it puts you in an energy where either you are full-blown workaholic to the point where it's like you're doing just fine and you know it's just a little cray cray you you know what i mean I, honestly i kind of get the sense more areas like you're not having fun in your job okay and i think right now really you just don't care for romance which okay that's fine the thing is is whether person place or thing in the past energy there's something going on where you one you don't like your job okay cool two you don't want to even try or work or you're trying to find a way to force 
like making money off of others around you. Now you could be financially uh, dependent on someone else and th okay, that's totally cool. Either or though, but you're not wanting to be long-term with yourself or consistent with whatever career path you have or whatever you do for money. Now, right after this, I do see here that it's making you not feel the greatest. One, maybe you can't pursue someone you want to. Two, I think it's more so you just don't care. You know what I mean? Like you just don't, there's not much loving, fun energy going on with yourself, maybe with others around you. It's not feeling the greatest, okay? So either or, you could be very upset with someone or it's just like not feeling good to you right now, what you're doing at your job, if that makes sense. So either or. And honestly, it could be a person making you feel this way, maybe, in the workplace. Maybe even two people. I don't know. Okay, cool. You still, yeah, it's just, I think it's just your job's just really irritating because you're, yeah, because right away you show me after that workplace energy. Now, a few things. One, you don't have a job and you don't want one. That's okay. Lucky you. Two, you have one, you can't stand it or who you work with, who you surround yourself with, who you collaborate with. A few things. You're only using everyone around you in your workplace to, you know, get money and ideas and the thing is is you're going crazy because it's not working for you anymore okay either or of all these things i'm listing oh it, you're doing something toxic in the workplace <laughs> whatever it is i don't know afterwards you get real cold real aggressive very like or like just clouded and confused and irritated because you know the truth aries and the truth is you know you gotta humble down brush those sleeves up and work hard and build from this whatever your career path is that's where you, you you hate it. You absolutely hate it. You're like, you know, F this. I don't want to do this. Um, of course, you could be facing like, you know, annoying, stupid, attacking type stuff at your workplace. Um, but it, you're in the energy of attacking and aggressive and getting confused and clouded. And then you don't even want to truly invest in yourself or with anyone or anything with what you do for your position of power, money, wealth, status, and career path. Now, some of you don't want to own up to being a leader, you know, and get up and just do what you got to do in life or a father figure or a mother figure. Okay. The position role status. You have a position though. That's the thing, but you hate it. Um, you're impatient. It's aggressive. It's chaotic, destructive. You're not wanting to see it a certain way. And that's what I got for you. Um, you could be dealing with in a fire sign, earth sign, water sign, or air sign. Thank you. Bye.